Oh, it's huge. Oh, it's huge. I've been in the industry for 15 years now, you know. Never touched a horse when I got to Colin Littles 15 years ago, like I said. And to think that I'm alongside Pat's name as a winning trainer at Flemington is just simply unbelievable. I've said it a few times in the five minutes that we've been victors that it's unbelievable because it simply is. And um, yeah, I think it's going to take till Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to, to kick in because it hasn't kicked in yet. It just doesn't feel real. So, But I'll take it nonetheless. Your partnership with Pat here came about naturally, which probably helped it. Like you guys didn't have a plan going in. Yeah, oh, there was sort of a plan there. I, I hadn't worked for Pat previously and I was just getting a bit of work experience with Pat at the time and he was obviously interested in my story and where I was heading and he's such a, a man for progression in his staff and we sort of conjured this idea of a partnership between us. We're obviously both at different ends of our training career. I'm at you know the start and I wouldn't say Pat's at the end, he's still got plenty to give but it was the perfect thing for both of us. You know, he, he needed someone there. It's a seven day a week job. So and I'm glad I can be a part of it now and look hopefully we continue like that. Have you heard from him yet? Not yet, but the phone's going off so it could be him, but I'm not sure. <laughs> what do you reckon his first thing you say to you? Oh, it could be a few profanities, but I, I think he'd be proud. And the whole team, you know, it's, it's it's a horse that means a lot to everyone. She's been around for a long time. So, look, it's it's not... I, I haven't done anything special with this horse. It's a, it's a team effort with her. So, I might be the name next to Pat, but it's a it's an Epsom Lodge job. So, no, very happy.